Assalamualaikum and good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nina Amira Binti Muhammad Sabir. I am a 24 years old, a graduate student with a bachelor's of degree in education, TESOL from ESM. I am from Sabah and I'm here to present the obstacles encountered by teachers throughout future learning. I will present three content for today, which is introduction, obstacles and solution, and also conclusion. Obstacles encountered by teachers through virtual learning. Because of the spread of COVID-19, billions of students and teachers have had to shift their communication online. Schools are closed until further notice, and we must adjust to a new way of life. During the lockdown, Teachers and administrators are working hard to keep students on track and to transition to online learning as soon as possible. Although technological advancements have many previously unthinkable things possible, the transition to e-learning has not been as smooth as we would like. The next part will be about the obstacles and solutions to overcome most teachers' problems during online classes, including me. The first obstacle that I will talk about is difficulty to engage with students. As students move towards online learning from traditional classroom, it becomes more difficult for teachers to adjust to a new learning platform. They can quickly get distracted and lose concentration during lab sessions. Students get distracted by TV shows, phones, social media, and sometimes parents did not check their child progress either the child is really attending the class or focusing class or even do their schoolwork. The solution for to obstacle one is Use multiple tools and interesting platform and different assessment method. Try to include those tools and multiple learning opportunities such as podcasts, videos, discussion, various form of text through articles and blogs. My lecturer suggests to create a YouTube video about the course content for students to check it out if they have time and if the students cannot attend the live classes on Google Meet. I did a few videos on regarding the topic I taught my class. Even though I know not all of my students would watch it, they know they can refer to it. Usually, the students that cannot submit their work on time or cannot attend the live classes was the one that will watch the videos. Teachers also need to use different assessment methods such as tasks, quizzes, assignments and projects, learning activities, and collaboration for a better learning outcome. I often use live worksheets, Google Form, Bamboozle, Padlet, Wordwall, and other assessment platform. The teachers can also give feedback, which is very easy for students compared to WhatsApp, where it is tough to check when the students snap their work as some students do not have a decent camera or a good handwriting. Obstacle 2. Communication problem. Communication problems always happen when the teacher did not give a bright explanation in class. Sometimes, teachers are not given enough time for the preparation of content for their students. Online teaching is like communicating without body language, so students might misunderstood and result in poor performance. Sometimes, students might ask for an extension for their work or give any excuse for the delay. The solution for obstacle 2 is to be more flexible and understanding and to recognize the student's need. One way to solve communication problem is by giving flexibility to the students when they ask for not making up to the deadline. So I give students an exception by them for more time to submit their work. Next, we must recognize the need to contact the students and understand what activities can accomplish your goal. 
We should provide a platform for students to communicate and collaborate with other classmates. As usual, students can share through WhatsApp or Telegram group, but not as spamming as it also can lead to students leaving the class group due to spamming. The last obstacle that I will talk about is technical issues and connectivity problems. Many teachers struggle with technical issues that are unavoidable and cause stress. For instance, I experienced it myself when I opened up my laptop an hour before class and I found out that my PowerPoint cannot be accessed due to technical problems like outdated version. Not just that, I also face an internet connection problems 20 minutes before my class starts. The solution for technical issues and connectivity problem is to upgrade computer or laptop, check internet connection before the class started, and prepare a backup plan. The solution to solve technical issues and connectivity problem is by contacting technical support to solve problems that can cause hindrances in the learning process. Make sure you upgrade your computer with apps and software that can help in an effective learning process with a high-speed internet connection. I upgraded my laptop processor and deleted user stuff from my laptop to avoid problems like lagging and disturbing bugs. It happens to me twice when my Wi-Fi suddenly could not connect to the internet, so I bought mobile data and used my phone as a hotspot. It works wonder. That one is for the connectivity problems. I also invest in buying a headphone with the microphone on because my laptop microphone couldn't work well. And yeah, as a teacher, we need to prepare backup plan in case the first idea couldn't work, work well. A problem is a chance for you to do your best. The teachers have faced many challenges teaching an online class as teachers have trouble engaging with students but also technical issues, connectivity problems, and time management as online courses require more time in preparing class materials and suitable assessments depending on each topic. Despite that, all the teachers figured out ways to solve their problems. And that is all from me. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.